Hey, it's Jordan here, and uh, Jason is my video re uh, recorder. Here we've got the Blade 450X and the Spectrum DX8, both brand new, unopened. Uh, today we're going to do an unboxing video on both of these two products, showing uh, what you get with them and uh, the features that come. First thing is uh, our knife. I'm going to open this box on this 450X. It comes equipped with a B-Sex fly brother system included um, which is hooked up with a AR7000. It's the AR72BX by Spectrum. So it's your receiver and your fly bridle system. When you open this box, you're going to see you got your manual on top. It's going to show all your in depth setups and stuff on how to program into your radio, what, how it works, how to program it, what you're going to need. As we lift this box part up, you're going to have the beautiful helicopter inside. So let's see the little accessories you get. You're going to get a little screwdriver, some zip ties, little handy things, Allen wrenches. In the second box, you're going to get some, uh, looks like some uh, alligator clips to hook up to your charger that they give you. Here's the three cell E-Flight charger that comes with it right here. Plug the balance port into here. So let's take this stuff actually out of the box as I do this. So here's the E-Flight charger right here that you get. Little alligator clips you can hook up to your 12 volt car battery or any 12 volt battery system. Your little tools including Allen wrenches, double sided tape, that kind of stuff. It comes with a 3 cell 2200 milliamp 30C battery. Great for doing 3D. Seems really solid. They're new packs. Uh, EC3 connector. Good connection and uh, pretty solid. Good for uh, transporting current through the battery. And here we got the brand new 450 here. So let's first take off move this aside. First nice feature that I look at this when I see it is it's got carbon fiber blades, a carbon fiber tail push rod, a collective t pitch tail, so that's going to give you a nice uh, hold in the wind and stuff. It's got counterweighted tail grips so that you're going to have a really good, uh, it's going to dampen the vibrations and stuff that go on in the tail, helping with the gyro. Here's the brand new, let's take the blades off, Here's the brand new uh, AR7200BX. Get a zoom up on that. This is just like the uh, fly brother system that I have and uh, the Beast X, the orange one that you're probably used to seeing. All it is is this receiver's hooked up into it and you can hook a, an external satellite up to it too if you'd like. As you see, you got all your servos hooked up to it. Eliminates a lot of uh, wiring with gyros and stuff as we take this canopy off. You see you got your main gear, got the new motor on this, it's got the ESC nicely mounted down here, really nice light frame and it seems like a really sturdy design. Got all your servos and stuff, they look like they're really nicely uh, positioned. It's got the barbells right here. Um, got your tail servo right here, got the guides right here. And these are the E-Flight uh, EFL RDS 76 uh, cyclic servos with the E-Flight EFL RDS 76T tail servo. Uh, right out of the box, this thing is capable of really nice 3D. It's belt driven on the back. As you see, this is just like most 450s you see with the tail slider and stuff. Parts are pretty uh, pretty reasonably priced, and uh, you can buy this hot helicopter at Horizon Hobby or at your local hobby shop. As it is, it's fly wireless, so you eliminated a lot of the linkages and a lot of confusing stuff, like on the head assembly. And uh, that's pretty much with this, and pretty much when you want to hook that up, you're just going to hook this right into here, these two connectors, and then that's what it looks like when it's going to start up on you. 
I mean, all you have to do is pretty much bind this, make sure it's set up properly, and it's going to go and fly. We'll make sure we do a flight video on this too. The nice canopy that you get with it. And now, let's check out the new Spectrum DX8 radio that's going to be programmed on this. So, first things first, slide it out of the box. Put this to the side. Then we're going to open this at the top. Now this combo comes with three receivers, which is really nice because if you get any 450s or any small airplanes or anything, you're already preset with the stuff you're gonna with the receivers you're gonna need. So I'm gonna pull this top off right here. Here's the DX8 and all your receivers and stuff and the telemetry stuff. This is this is all the uh, sensor equipment, temperature, RPM, uh, that kind of stuff right here. Voltage sensors and stuff. You've got your bind plugs that are going to come standard with it, with your little Allen wrench and stuff to adjust your gimbals. A 128 megabyte SD card for the radio for your models and stuff to save your settings. And then right here is your charger that it comes with and in the box there's a bunch of little things for uh, basically just plugs right into the wall I'll let with a plug comes with a nice uh, radio neck strap in the box comes with an AR 8000 DSMX receiver right there Then right here you've got a Air 6210 uh, DSMX receiver, good for any six channel helicopters, T-Rex 500s, really nice uh, receiver, hard cased. Here's the telemetry model module for your helicopter and stuff, wherever you want to hook this up, airplane helicopter, it's going to tell you voltage, RPM, it's got the data, bind, um, and the you can hook it up to SBUS, I guess, with this thing. So really nice uh, thing that's included. And then right here, these are great for any. Uh, I love these for 450 helicopters. If you're just running a uh, just a normal flybar, or if you're not having a uh, Beast X built in, there's the uh, AR6115E receiver. So you basically you get three receivers right here. And a telemetry model module, your SD card, and then let's see the uh, radio right here. And underneath, get some stickers. You get the uh, manual, more stuff here, and more right there. Programming stuff. So as we take this radio out of the bag turn this on. The DX8 is backlit. It's got a, vibration, a, uh, a vibrator inside it to uh, tell you when you're done. So if you're listening to your iPod you don't, and you don't hear the timer, you're going to feel it through the radio. It's got a speaker on it so that when it's counting down, you can, if you're not listening to an iPod or if you can hear, it's, you're, you'll hear it go off. You can switch between either having just the vibrator or the tone or both. You can hook up. Um, you can hook up the radio so that it starts the timer as you move. The second you move the stick, uh, you've got airplanes and helicopters you can program, program into this. It's very user friendly. The menus right here, and uh, each thing makes it really nice. You can go between travel, sub trim, everything, and then switch between like aileron gear and everything is separately hooked up so makes everything really simple and a lot more user friendly two position switches on all of the on every switch on the front radio a three position switch right here for your rudder dual rates three position switch for like flight mode for idle up you've got your gear switch throttle hold and your flaps aux 3 and overall it seems like a really nice radio and uh...
highly recommend it for anybody that's looking for a uh, good radio. It comes with the battery pack right in the back. You can also get up an upgraded lithium polymer one too if you'd like for it. You've got the data, the trainer port, the side where the SD card goes in. It just plugs right into there. You can save your settings, back those up. And that's pretty much it of the unboxing of these two wonderful products. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, um, you know where to post those. And look forward to watching a flight video with this helicopter and this radio. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Jordan.